Hey guys, so I've been working on this project which has been at a standstill because I'm waiting for some resin to come in to do on this um, dragonfly I made. Um, so this is going to be kind of a tutorial and, and stages of how I'm making um, this mixed media project. Um, I doubt the other one will come out exactly the same even though this one's not finished yet but we'll do something similar. So to start off we're going to start by making out of polymer clay we're going to make this this dragonfly here and um, I'll kind of do a quick run through of how to do it. If you know how to do it go ahead and not wash this segment uh, but this will be the dragonfly segment okay and that's I think going to be the main embellishment on the projects. Okay, so to start out, I have a piece of polymer clay rolled out of my um, pasta machine. Um, and it's not super thick, which it doesn't need to be, however thick you want it. I don't mind if there's a little stuff in it. Yeah, I wouldn't want white clay in it, but I'm going to paint that dragonfly in gesso, so um, any coloring I put on it sticks well. So again, I don't mind. So um, there's one of a couple ways we can cut out the wings. Now, the first time I cut out these wings, I didn't have a very good cutter for it, okay? So what I did was I took a tin pan that kind of like you get pre-made pie shells in or different things, like just literally um, a disposable tin pan. Some kind of foods come in it, different things. And I bought some disposable baking sheets on Amazon I apologize about the washer upstairs, but I bought a bunch of disposable baking sheets on Amazon that I use for painting or whatever, and I cut out this shape and I taped it. And that's what I used the first time to make this dragonfly here, okay? Um, you could also potentially use a heart cutter, okay, and then cut the cut it in half and those would be your two two wings. Um, I recently bought, so I could make uh, different types of flowers, I recently bought a um, fondant flower making kit on Amazon. And that came with all different kinds of cutters so I could make like flowers like this, which maybe at some point I'll show you how to make these. Um, and it came with these these cutters I assume are either for flowers or um, leaves, um, and I think these will actually work well for my my dragonfly. I, honestly, I think they're almost identical shapes. So I'm not sure why you get two, but I'll use them both. So I rolled it out. And I'm not sure if I'll get all four wings out of this. Next thing I have is this stamp um, with script on it. You could use any kind of script stamp. This was literally the only one I could find in my art store. Uh, my art store is about an hour away and is pretty small. So um, I have to make do with what I can find. Um, so I'm going to next just stamp some of this on and then I'll find the best spot I like to cut the script out. So next I'll just push that on that. And if these videos are too long for you, you can always fast forward. In the corner of videos, there's um, a spot with the three dots. You can push down and speed up the videos. I like videos where I can just watch someone craft when I'm at night and um, before bed and I don't want to really think about anything. I watch a lot of mixed vid media videos and just listen to the person talk and craft and I like those ones. I like those ones better than the ones with um, music myself but that is just me so again if you don't want to listen to me just fast forward it along so there's one little area with some scripts and I'm gonna do another do this other little side here maybe I'll do more down here let's see what that looks like and yes I'm in my basement so it's cold and I got my bathrobe on it's Sunday and I'm doing laundry and getting ready for the work week. Good. So that is, which I don't think that will be big enough over there because I want them to be, I want the lettering to be straight. So I'll probably have to use this side. Um, so what I'll do is I'll probably cut out two, roll it again, and then cut out another two. 
okay? So I'm gonna do one, let's see, where do I like it? Maybe here? And then, probably one there. I can't wait until I got some stuff I'm ordering, um, some resin. And then I got these new paints because I saw a tutorial where someone had used them and they looked gorgeous. So that's what I'm going to use once we get to that point in this project. And I'm still waiting for it to come in. I guess it's back ordered a little bit. So there's one wing. And another wing. Okay. Now I'm going to quickly roll out this clay again, re-stamp it, and do the same thing. Okay, so there are my four wings. Um, I'm also gonna kind of just gently fit them together. Like that. And there's no way, like these ones I kind of did a little overlap look. I think these ones I'll kind of do a little further away, spread out like that. I mean, there's no right or wrong, just whatever you're looking for. I like the bigger ones on the bottom to you it's the top but to me it's the bottom um, so that's that and then the same thing out of that disposable tray to put my toaster oven I made a little tray so I will set these wings on my tray to be baked now I don't know see this one I glued later after I got them together um, these all set next to each other. They may stick, they may not. If they don't, I'll just glue them later. I'm not overly worried about that right now. Because I may want to play a little bit more at some point. You know, when you live out in the boonies, like I do, I consider the boonies. I'm out in the middle of nowhere in Vermont. Um, you kind of have to make a lot of your stuff unless you order it all online but for me it gets kind of expensive so I find ordering the clay and um, doing a little work myself which I enjoy making my own embellishments um, is good for me so I know that that shine is really throwing it off but that's my you know what I don't like it. I think I want this script to be straight across, don't I? Like this. No, no, I think that's fine. We'll do that. Okay. Okay, so I set the wings aside. Next, I'm gonna make the body of it. Um, so I take a little piece of clay, Sorry, I got a band-aid on. Um, and I'm going to roll it out into a little worm. Now, where's my acrylic block right here? I'm going to take my, I find I, I roll better and more evenly on a block like this. And this will give me the base for my, uh, my body because I had a hard time getting them to stick together without something in there. So I'm going to roll out a little really skinny, small line of clay and again if you craft a lot this is probably very self-explanatory but for those who like to watch the process I hope you're enjoying it anyways so I'll cut out a, like a long little skinny line and then I'm gonna flatten it and that's where I'm gonna set my body on okay now I make it longer than it actually needs to be and then probably be a little curved and it's so skinny that it's really hard to work with but again that's why I make it a little longer than I need it to be so I can hold it and mess with the ends and then literally we're just gonna roll out some balls and this would be kind of cool like I made those druzy stones the other day Oh, and I had a better glass I found. I found, if you watched that video, 
this Twinklets Diamond Dust. Oh, it's awesome for these Jersey Stones. It gave it with no real coloring. It, you see all that really shiny glimmer on the top? That's came from those. But like if I wanted to, I could, you know, use these as my my body. You know, if I had like say the right sizes of them, I could do something like that and that. You know what I mean? And kind of make smaller and smaller ones and use that for my body if I wanted to, those glimmery little things. You know, just be be creative. But So I'm gonna roll out some balls and then just give them a little smush. Now that one's probably gonna be too small for the main part, the head, so let me get a bigger one. So you get the point. Let me roll out some balls and I'll show you after. So I got some rolled out and I'm going to finish more, but I'm going to start to attach them so I can see. So I've used the um, Sculpey Bacon Bond. And that way, I mean, it's still, you don't need to, but sorry, my fiance came down and watching a video and was loud. So you can use the Sculpey Bacon Bond because they're, they're, balls and this is soft you probably don't need to but I do it just kind of helps to stick but you don't want tons either so just put a little bit on maybe give it a smush with your finger okay and then let's stick on our first one which is a the head obviously And I can always cut that little tip off the end. That's not a big deal to me. And I think my next one is over here. Make sure it's fairly round. Now I believe the first time I did this, I baked this. So this was already hard, even though it's very fragile. I think that was already hard, which made this a little bit easier, I think, is what I actually had done. Um, so we're winging it. Yeah, my fiance really doesn't care if he's quiet or not. He's quite loud and um, disrupting upstairs, but he doesn't get the whole crafting thing at all. At all. So he doesn't understand why I'd prefer to do this than watch TV. <laughs> That's a man who works outside all day for you. And he does a lot of like metal work. He builds dump trucks and stuff. So for him, that's his type of crafts. Um, <clears throat> I think that one's going to be too small, so I need a slightly bigger one. I don't want it too big. It's hard to judge these, you know, it's kind of hard to... But whatever, I'm, that's because I'm a little over anal about them. Yeah, that's looking okay. Put a little more bacon bond down here. Sorry, I keep going out of the camera frame. I 
which I actually, let me try angling it up. Let's see if that works better if I can not go out of frame as much. Oops. <clears throat> Obviously I can play with this more, make it curve more, all that kind of stuff. I'm just trying to get the circles on right at this point. Um, Stop sticking to me. Oh, I see I squashed it. When they get little like that, so I'll just take a tool I have. I mean, it doesn't need to be anything specific. I'm gonna see if I can peel that guy off. And see, I broke it. Not a big deal. I mean, it really, I think people get too over worried about certain things. So I'll just take a piece of what I had, squish it back together, make a little tail, a little, a little guy. Now I do use a Dremel that I got on Amazon um, for a lot of things, like literally I got the Dremel brand. Um, I think it was refurbished so it wasn't super expensive. And I, you know, if I have any round spots that I don't like, I would, I would literally take that and um, smooth it down just because that's what I like to use. Um, I think I'm going to do one more little dinky one. Sorry, I keep, still keep going out of frame. I'll get used to that, but as you get the point, I'm just making little circles, same as I've been doing the whole time. Okay, this little one's probably going to take me a sec, so let me pause it, okay? Okay, so I know, I, I'm sorry, I know this tin makes everything really bright, but I got my tail on, and now I'm going to put it next to my wings, and that way I can get a good look at how what shape I want it to be in, like what kind of curve I want it to have. Um, and where I want the head and where I want the, maybe something like that, right? That's pretty cute. So I'll give it a little squish. And again, if it doesn't stick, what I'll do is I'll bake it like this. Um, if it all doesn't stick very well, then I'll take the Sculpey Bacon Bond and I'll put some glue on the back sides and bake it like that. I mean, I'm very new at all this mixed media stuff. I mean, I've done regular clay. I haven't done a lot of polymer clays. Um, so I'm just kind of learning as I go, watching different videos, figuring that kind of stuff out. I kind of think I want this one right here. I don't know if you can see it. It looks a little funny right here. So I think I may trim that one a little bit. So let me get it off here. I think it got stretched a little bit when I was working. Around that, let me see how that looks. I think I like that better. And then stick that one up under there. Maybe something like that. Trying to lift it up. 
and then stick it under. I think my dragonfly will look something like that. I want to curve that one up a little bit. I don't know if I want that guy curved so much. So let me straighten this out. And the weird thing is, is right now, all we're looking at is this. We're not looking at any other part of the mixed media project. So that also puts your focus only on one little thing. When someone's going to look at your art, they're going to be looking at multiple different things. They're not going to nitpick. Well, some people nitpick. But I don't nitpick. Um, I mean, I do nitpick my own work, but I don't nitpick other people's work. I think that's rude. So some people will post some rude comments about different things and, you know, hey, don't watch if you, if you don't like it. So I think that's what I'm going to maybe curve in. Let's see. Maybe like that. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So let me bake it at the recommended. I am using the Sculpey 3. Um, <clears throat> before I had a pasta machine, the regular Primo and stuff was too hard for me to work out. It really made my hands quite sore. So the Sculpey 3 is easier to work out by hand. Uh, but now that I have the rolling machine, it, this gets quite sticky. The Sculpey 3 is quite sticky and foamy type. So I may go back to the Primo. Um, the regular, either that or the Sculpey. Um, but right now I have a bunch of the Sculpey 3, so that's what I'm going to use. So we'll bake this at the recommended um, temperature and time, and then um, that will be our Dragonfly embellishment to this project that we're making. And at some point I will show you the next part of the project. And we'll just, whenever I have time, we'll gradually keep working out on our project.